Paris is so beautiful, you guys. What's up you guys? We are in Paris. We are here for just two nights, three days. We came in this afternoon and the first stop that we had was at the YSL Museum. Such a beautiful museum. You will have already seen all the footage. So if you're into fashion, 100% recommend. It's so insightful. Like it really, if you like the brand, 100%. Really helps you to understand his designs and appreciate the fashion house way more at least that's <laughs> my experience so yeah definitely do that i'm also thinking of going to the dior museum since he was a fashion designer for dior as well for a little bit yeah and then just walk around go to maybe the shopping malls it's raining so that's like the only thing that is um not so positive but other than that it's a very very beautiful city always gives me so much energy inspiration it's just the buildings just walking around is an attraction for me so yeah i'm going to take you around show you the scenery show you the food we are now at a lebanese brasserie you can say just to get some snacks some you know some small food to not so i don't pass pass out <laughs> because later tonight we're going for dinner so yeah i'm going to take you through everything and yeah i hope you enjoy this vlog
good morning guys today is day two in paris yesterday was nice after i talked to you we went to the lebanese place was actually very nice very tasty there's some nice street food kind of thing after we went to galeries lafayette i wasn't feeling really shopping so we didn't stay there for long i tried on a pair of boots from paris texas but that was it didn't really fit the way that i wanted then we wanted to go to this restaurant but the lines were so long like a two hour wait so i was like no not about to do that i wasn't really hungry anyway so then we went to a random bistro kind of thing it was mid it was the food was just wasn't bad but it wasn't good either and then we went to the hotel and just chilled and did some sightseeing but that's it so today let's see what the day brings i'll take you along with me I went to this Eric Kayser place instead of going to Angelina. I really wanted to try like the hot chocolate, but I don't want to stand in the line. If there is one thing that I hate is standing in the line. So I looked online and someone said it's not really worth it to go there and to pay like 15 euros for a cup of hot chocolate. You might as well go to Eric Kayser. But I think I disagree. I mean, haven't been to Angelina's, but this is like super mid. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> also, the croissant was uh, was really just mediocre at best. So we haven't had like a really delicious thing on this trip yet. So hopefully lunch will be good. So I have four pieces right here that I want to try out. First one is this boucle jacket. Super nice. Love the details. Also the quality looks incredible. And if you look at the threading, it has like some metallic in it, but very, very subtle. And these white leg trousers, which are cream. The lighting is so bad, but this suit, which is like the blazer and the shorts. So let's uh, try things out. Here is the first combo. I like it, but I don't know how wearable this is. I mean, I do like the blazer. The material is just top notch, but I don't like that it doesn't have a vent in the back. So the back is like kind of weird for me. It needs a vent because I have like the white hips and the booty. So blazer for me really need a vent, but yeah. This is so cute and these shorts, I mean, how cute are these? Just to wear them with tights like this. And this is a size 34. So their sizing is also quite generous. So I don't know. I do like it though. Super, super cute. Okay, unfortunately, this is a no-go. It just the fit is weird for both the pants and the jacket. The pants, I mean, look at what it's doing right here it's just not flattering at all i don't know also you see the pockets i don't really like the material so yeah and then for the jacket i just don't like the way that it falls and hits me right here i would prefer it to be cropped so yeah but i tried i tried it out i do really love the materials of this brand though so i'll look online what else they have because they don't have a lot of things in the store I and mean, look at all the the little details that they have just it's beautiful by the way this is my outfit of the day this sweater very chunky wool sweater from residence blazer is from the frankie shop um skirt is from diesel love this skirt tights are wolford dr martin's boots and my celine handbag i also have my sunglasses but it's very cloudy today so i don't really need that but yeah 
This is it. This is so beautiful you guys i just love to like today we don't have anything in particular planned but it's just nice to walk around look at the buildings look at the people i just love it so 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 much it gives me so much energy just i don't know how to explain it but but also another thing that i wanted to say the hotel that we're staying is actually pretty nice it's a good neighborhood as well but the prices it's just ridiculous like at some point i don't know if i can do vacations anymore like I can only do two nights. This is just way too expensive. Like hotels in Paris, I don't know why it needs to be this expensive, but just wanted to put my two cents out there. So that was a good dinner. I had the Wagyu tagliatelle. It was very good. But the best thing is this mashed potato. I don't know what they put in that mashed potato, but it's so creamy. I'm sure it's sort of like with a bunch of, a lot of butter. It's so, 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 so good. And I also had a cocktail. That cocktail like kind of took me out for a little bit. <laughs> so we're walking now, just looking at the scenery before I drive. So that did not go well at all. I don't know what it is, but that's the reason why I shop online. Because in the stores, like the lighting is sometimes so weird. It's cramped, it's hot, I don't know. Well, I was in the mood to find something. I was really hoping to find something cute in the Frankie shop, but nothing was agreeing with me. Everything was like very big, very long. They didn't have smaller sizes. So I'm like, you know what? Just forget about it i'm going to shop online order myself online show you guys and then keep whatever agrees with my body shape and uh, just my taste so that's the end of that for now <laughs> So we just left the restaurant, we went to eat at Mamacita and finally we found a good restaurant here in Paris. Like I have my doubts about the French cuisine. This, this uh, restaurant was Mexican, it was so good. Nice ambiance as well, nice people. And yeah, so definitely recommend this one. If you're staying in this area, also this area is bomb. Like this is the ninth area, the ninth Arritosima. <laughs> and there are so many cafes in the area just a lot of movement i love that so definitely recommend this area and, and if you are in this area you should check out mamacita 
So it's day three in Paris. We are getting ready to check out, but I wanted to share my quick morning skincare routine with you. Just a favorite product I've been using lately. Okay, so for cleaning my face, I use either one of these two products. Mostly this one. This is the Tula the Gold Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. It's very nice on the skin. Just gets all the dirt um, and makeup off also at night. I love this, it's a very, very, very good product. For Sometimes I need like a little bit of exfoliating action and then I go in with this one from Fresh. So you can say like every other day or every two days I use this one. And then for moisturizer, I'm just going in with the Kiehl's face cream, just another very universal face cream that is very moisturizing. I add this face eye balm from Tula, just not sure the exact effect. I mean, it does have an, an immediate cooling effect underneath the eyes, which I love. I love that sensation, but I'm not sure if it like gets rid of dark circles or wrinkles or anything like that. It just says that it's a cooling and brightening eye balm, but I just love the cooling sensation. It's just super nice underneath the eyes. And then lastly, this product, this Summer Friday, for Summer Fridays, um, shade drops, the uh, sunscreen that they have, it is SPF 30 and for cloudy days, even though you might think that there isn't, the sun is not coming through, I still wear my sunscreen. And you can see how this seamlessly blends into the skin, it doesn't leave a white cast. While I'm doing my makeup, I love to use this lip um, plumbing mask just to hydrate the lips. This is from Lawless. And that's it. I'm going to do my makeup and get ready so we can head out. So we just finished eating. The food was actually good. I had some pancakes and mom had some bagels. And um, now we are at Galeries Lafayette just to walk around and also look at the beautiful buildings that they have in this neighborhood. And that's the end of our trip. We just visited Galeries Lafayette, this one at Hausmann. I think this one is much beautiful than the one on Champs-Élysées. It's a little very busy though, so if you want to shop luxury but in 
in a place that's a little bit more quiet. I would recommend um, Print Them. It's pretty much have all the brands as well, but it's just way quieter. The scenery of Galeries Lafayette is much nicer though. So that's it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, this scenery, and um, that's it. So I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.